Typewriter A typewriter is a writing machine that produces characters similar to typeset print by means of a manually operated keyboard that actuates a set of raised types which strike the paper through an inked ribbon. The first really successful machine was invented by Christopher Latham Scholes of Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 1868. What happens when you press a key? Here's the typewriter with the top cover removed. The keyboard is at the front. The paper moves from left to right on the carriage at the back. In between is a complex arrangement of levers and springs. A typewriter like this is completely mechanical, powered entirely by your fingertips. It has no electrical or electronic parts. So, how do you use it? The basic idea is simple. You press a key and a lever attached to it swings another lever called a type hammer up towards the paper. The type hammer has the slug of metal type on the end of it. Each hammer has two characters on it. Normally, the lower character strikes the page. If you press the shift key, the carriage tips up and back so the upper character hits the paper instead. Just as the type is about to hit the page, a spool of inked cloth called a ribbon lifts up and sandwiches itself between the type and the paper so the type makes a printed impression as it hits the page. When you release the key, springs make the type hammer fall back down to its original position. The carriage moves one space to the left, so when you hit the next key, it doesn't obliterate the mark you've just made. The carriage continues to advance as you type until you get to the right edge of the paper. Then a bell sounds and you have to press the carriage return lever. This turns the paper up and moves the carriage back to the start of the next line. Why are the keys on a typewriter or a computer board arranged in such a strange way? If you've ever typed quickly on a mechanical typewriter, you'll know the reason. The type hammers move up and down so quickly that they can collide and jam together. To reduce the risk of that happening, the designer of the first popular typewriter, Christopher Latham Scholes, rearranged the keyboard so letters often use spaced widely apart. For example, if you type the word probably very quickly, your fingers have to keep leaping from one side of the keyboard to the other as you go from one key to the next. That gives each type hammer time to fall back down and get out of the way of the next hammer that's about to rise up, reducing the risk of a jam. Now, computer keyboards are entirely electronic. There's no reason at all to keep the QWERTY keyboard layout. We keep it because most people know it and for no other reason. It's a charming quirk of history and long may it remain so.